Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to read The Band-Aid Chicken by Wrangle Henton. The Band-Aid Chicken. How many of you have ever been picked on? Did you know that there is a pecking order among chickens? If a new chicken is brought into a group, the other chickens will peck on the new, check, the new chicken to show who is in charge. This can hurt or even kill the new chicken. This story is about a brave chicken who wanted the pecking to stop. Once upon a time, on Mrs. Bat's farm, there lived 25 chickens. All the chickens got along with each other. They were happy to be living together. One day, Mrs. Bats put a new little chicken inside the fence. This chicken did not have a family, and she was hoping to make some friends soon. But before she could say hi, all the other chickens started pecking her on the head. That's not very nice, is it? Mrs. Bats saw the new chicken's head. It was bruised and cut. Mrs. Bats covered the sores with band-aids and said, I think I'll call you the Band-Aid Chicken. This right here is our Band-Aid Chicken, and he helps our little friends who get picked on. <clears throat> but the next day, the Band-Aid Chicken head did not hurt so much, but her heart did. She was so sad that the other chickens would not even give her a chance to get to know them. Soon, the other chickens told the Band-Aid Chicken that she had passed their test. That meant she could now be the first to peck on any new chicken who came into their yard. Hmm, that doesn't sound so nice. Before many days had passed, Mrs. Bats put another new chicken in the yard. It is now time for Band-Aid Chicken to peck on the new chicken. But Band-Aid Chicken remembered how badly she had been hurt. She stood in front of the frightened new chicken, looked right into the eyes of the other chicken, and loudly said, No! What do you think they're doing? What do you think Band-Aid Chicken is going to do? I want this pecking to stop with me, said the Band-Aid Chicken. I remember how bad I felt when you did it to me and how much it hurt my poor head and my heart. Now I won't do it. You see how Band-Aid Chicken is yelling, no. The other chickens were surprised, but when they saw the Band-Aid Chicken, meant what he said, they stopped pecking too. The new chicken was very happy. In fact, all the chickens became a lot happy after the pecking stopped. All the chickens knew it took courage to change what had been happening. They looked up to the band-aid chicken and respected her for her courage and bravery. Oh, look at that. Look how excited. Are you going to do what everybody else does? Or are you going to be like the Band-Aid Chicken who had the courage to stop bad behavior and who helped make her world a better place? That is the end of our story. And with this activity, we could go ahead and each of us could make a Band-Aid Chicken um, that they could pull out and they could pretend to do the story as well. And then there is a pledge certificate here at the end of the book that we could copy and put each child's name on it that they pledge not to pick on others. And this story would help with bullying in the classroom and the kids not treating each other fairly. And then there's a put fit pattern in the back. The end.